Hey, what's going on paintballers? This is the third of 30 videos. If you need some context for where we're picking up today, go back and watch at least video number one, if not one and two, they're both relatively short. Uh, but I'm gonna jump right into it. We're talking about the hinge movement today. It's what I would consider the second most powerful movement that your weekly fitness routine should always have. Um, and I'll be specifically talking about how to use it to the advantage of playing paintball because just like if you were training for a powerlifting meet, you would train differently than you were if you were training for a paintball tournament. So I'm gonna talk about the differences between what you might see other people doing at the gym and how you should be using the hinge to make sure your body is as prepared for paintball as possible so that you can, you guessed it, play better paintball. So the hinge is basically a movement where I'm gonna use my hand as best as possible. Um, if this is your hip joint and this is your leg, this is your upper body and everything, the hinge is where we basically bend at the hip, and if your arm is hanging down here, you can imagine you pick up something. Uh, like I said, at the gym, it tends to get implemented in the form of a deadlift, so we're picking up a barbell, a trap bar, a kettlebell, whatever it might be. But we're basically bending over, picking something up, and that's primarily using the hamstrings uh, as well as the glutes on the back side of the body. So those are getting stretched as you bend down, and then they contract to pull your entire body back up. So uh, that's why after a good hamstring or excuse me, a good deadlift session, you probably feel your hamstrings get really sore for a couple days. It's because your primary mover in that exercise is your hamstrings. So how can we use, we, we obviously established that we need the hinge. Every human being needs the hinge in their weekly fitness routine uh, because that's the best way to make sure you are strengthening and conditioning your hamstrings and your glutes as well as some other muscles um, but those are the primary ones uh, so how can we make sure we're doing it for the sport of paintball well like i said in the last video where we're doing the squat and it doesn't really make sense to be focusing on our one rep max in squat if we're trying to get it to transfer as much as possible to the sport of paintball same kind of applies for the deadlift but I would actually say there's another dimension of the hinge that you should really be focusing on because in paintball, we bend over a lot and we rarely bend over straight forwards like we do in the deadlift. But as I talked about in the last video with the squat, we don't necessarily uh, train asymmetrically in the gym, especially under heavy loads because that's not a safe position for the body to be in under that amount of stress. So we want the body well aligned, very symmetrical, in a very safe position so that under that stress, the body is as safe as possible and we're kind of maximizing the amount of muscle mass that we're stressing at one point in time. Um, that's going to indirectly leak, if you will, skills and injury resistance power into those positions where we're off center, we're asymmetrical. Um, so with the hinge movement, just like the squat, I would say you never need to be working on anything higher load than your five rep max. Um, but in particular, since we spend so much time staying in a single position, leaning over and just holding a lane, and we're holding that bent over position, our back, our hamstrings, our glutes are all locking our body in that position for extended periods of time. And then we switch sides and we do it again. We might be holding that lane for a good 20, 25, excuse me, 20, 25, 30 seconds. Um, it's important in our hinge work in the gym to be practicing that. So going, going with a lighter weight, but holding or doing pause reps so that we are holding loads bent over for five, 10, 15, maybe even 20 seconds. Um, and if not doing quite that long, at least going really slow in our hinges, not just picking up something, standing up, picking something up, standing up, like you see most people doing when they do a deadlift. They wanna do it as fast as possible, get the reps over as quickly as possible. That's not gonna transfer real directly to paintball. So we want to lengthen the amount of time of our reps. We wanna keep our volume relatively high most of the time so that when we're holding those positions bent over for extended periods of time, our back, our hamstrings, our glutes, they're all conditioned to support our body for those extended periods of time. Um, and I will say you can you know, adapt the hinge to be a little more paintball specific in that uh, aside from what I do think is really important and should be part of your weekly routine to do a symmetrical, you know, dual-sided deadlift, whether that's with a trap bar, a barbell, 
two kettlebells, something like that. You can also be doing things like suitcase deadlifts or single-legged RDLs so that you are practicing like we do in paintball where only one side of your body is loaded and you're leaning to one side. So it does make sense to incorporate what we would call unilateral or one-sided movements that that uh, recreate that paintball scenario where we have one weight on one side of the body and most of the stress is on one side of the body and we're holding it for extended periods of time. So hopefully that helps you if you are trying to do your fitness routine by yourself and you're coming up with ways to make your workouts transfer to paintball better so that you can play better paintball. But if, if you want someone to do all that work for you and you would rather just not think about it and say, hey, here's my difficulty level. I'm a beginner, intermediate, and advanced. I just want you to do it for me and I want it all in an app with video guidance and everything else. That's what Play Better Paintball is here to do, is start one of my three fitness programs that do all the guesswork for you. So uh, give that a try. There is a free trial if you want to see what it's all about. Um, you can email me, DM me, whatever, with questions. Um, you can email me at coach at playbetterpaintball.com. Message me through any of my social media channels. I'm happy to answer any and all questions that you have. So that was the hinge um, tomorrow. I don't know what movement we'll talk about next. I told you in the first video there are seven. We'll leave tomorrow's a, uh, a mystery. We'll see what I feel like talking about. So comment below if you have something specific you would like to see me talk about in one of the 30 videos that I'm doing over the next 30 days. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you again soon.